huge breaking news. Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford. Imagine this. You're on top of your game, scoring goal after goal and being praised by the media, by the pundits and by the fans. It feels like you're on the top of the world. But then, you notice something. The people that loved you and praised you most begin to turn on you. I'm not exaggerating, absolutely shocking. He's not a world-class player. But it's been a disaster. He's been an absolute disaster. This is the story on how the entire world turned on Marcus Rashford. On the 31st of October 1997, a boy named Marcus was born in the Greater Manchester area. Marcus had always been a fan of football and joined his local club at the age of 5 playing as a goalie. He quickly joined the Man United Academy system at the age of 7 and quickly caught the eye at the club's youth coach Paul McGuinness, who saw how capable he was from day one. He managed to work his way all the way up through the academy up until the age of 16 where he was invited to train with the senior team in the 13-14 season under David Moyes. He continued training often with the senior team but he still played all of his games in the under 18s under manager Nicky Butt. He was given the captain's armband for the youth team after a consistent stream of good performances. These good performances continued and he was handed a chance as he appeared on the bench against Watford on the 21st of November. However, he never got a chance to come on. He was then included three months later in the senior squad for a Europa League game and as expected, he wasn't in the starting 11 and began on the bench where he would sit for the rest of the game. Or that's what he thought. News broke that Martial had picked up an injury in the warm-up, meaning Rashford was now in the starting 11. This was his chance to make an image for himself. And it's fair to say, he did exactly that. In his first senior game of football, he scored a brace in a 5-1 win to help the team progress into the next round of the Europa League. His debut literally couldn't have gone any better. Or could it? Just three days after the Europa League game, he was put into the starting 11 against Arsenal for his league debut. Surely he couldn't do it again. Could he? Two goals and one assist against Arsenal, helping United with a crucial three points. Within the space of just a week, he had gone from a player nobody has ever heard of to the player destined for greatness. He carried this form through the rest of the season, scoring the winning goal against City to give them a 1-0 win. And lucky for him, it looked like the only way here was up. The next season, he was overshadowed by the club's new signing Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who took that central forward position. However, Mourinho didn't want to waste him on the bench, so he played his majority games that season on the left wing, and it paid off as he scored 11 goals in the process. He continued to create a name for himself under the new manager Jose Mourinho, winning the Community Shield, FA Cup and even starting in the Europa League final. He was given the famous number 10 shirt at the start of the 18-19 season, being worn by the likes of Wayne Rooney, Van Nistelrooy, Teddy Sheringham and more. It was certain that Rashford had a lot of pressure on his shoulders, however he dusted it off as he continued under another new manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. This brings us to 2020, where Rashford was at the heights of his career. He was scoring goal after goal, embarrassing his opponents and playing near enough every single game. The fans couldn't get enough of him. After capping an impressive 21 goals and 13 assists in the 2021 season, it felt like the only way for him now was up. But little did he know that the next season would turn out to be one of the most unexpected turn of events that would see the fans, the media and the footballing world turn on one of the most promising prospects yet. The beginning of the 21-22 season saw an attack of Bruno Fernandes, Jadon Sancho, Marcus Rashford and Cristiano Ronaldo. So in other words, the expectations were high. Very, very high. However, Rashford wasn't really included in the first part of the season due to him having a shoulder surgery after the Euro 2020 final, ruling him out for a couple of months. He returned to playing in mid-October. However, something was different from the previous seasons. All those goals and assists that he scored in the previous seasons never came. 
He ended the season with just 4 league goals, compared to the 11 goals he scored the previous season, and another 11 the season before that. The 21-22 season was very below average for Rashford, however there isn't really an obvious reason to why. It could have been the change of management throughout the seasons, it might have been the after effects of a surgery, or it could just simply be down to a bad spell of form, which is what I think happened. Whatever the reason was, the fans began to turn on him, and it looked like he would never be back to his best again. But then something happened. At the beginning of the 22-23 season, Eric Ten Hag was appointed as their new manager and with that he brought a brand new style and a brand new way the club was run. Rashford decided to throw everything he had into his training and try to make his way back up to his throne. It wasn't a great start for him or the rest of the team as they would lose their first two games. They would go up against Liverpool on the third, which many thought would be a dominant Liverpool display. But that's when the impossible became possible. Rashford scored in a shock 2-1 win to Liverpool, which sparked the beginning of the Rashford redemption. He was unstoppable. The fans adored him. Every time he played, a goal would go in the back of the net. Two against Arsenal, one against City, one against Chelsea. Although that's not much of an achievement anymore. One against Barcelona and so many more. He finished the season with a whopping 40 GA. The best of his career so far. And all he had to do was carry this momentum into the next season. Easy, right? Well, it's safe to say the 23-24 season was one to forget for Rashford. The problem started at the start of the season where he was handed a new contract worth up to £325,000 per week. He began the season rather poorly and by the new year he had just 3 league goals to his name. He finished that season with just 7 league goals which as a result brought a lot of backlash from the media and the fans who if you rewind 12 months we're praising the same person for the effort and the hard work he put in, and thus bringing us up to the present day. Rashford is the perfect example of how easy it is for people's opinions to completely shift, going from praising you to absolutely despising you. How do you think Rashford will perform this season? Let me know down below in the comments and while you're there check out this video here. Thank you very much for watching, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. See ya.